As remote weaponry develops at a frightening speed, so does its introduction into warfare. As armies start to recognize the benefits of sending in highly adaptable and lethal weapons without any loss of life, the popularity of this equipment is only on the rise. This has led to the development of these weapons all around the world. Today, we're going to look at four of the most sophisticated examples of this type of weapon. First, let's start with the vehicle named Robotic Autonomous Sense and Strike, or ROBUST for short. This was developed by Elbit Systems for the Israeli Ministry of Defense, and it is as robust in design as it is in name. This uncrewed ground vehicle uses advanced robotic technologies to expand Israel's autonomous combat capabilities in all-terrain and all-weather battlefield conditions. It's a 6x6 advanced wheeled vehicle, featuring advanced maneuvering capabilities. It has the capacity to transport diverse and heavy mission loads. On top of this, it has an integrated system for transporting and receiving uncrewed aerial vehicles. This adds to its credentials for future-proofing into remote warfare. The Robust focuses on operational effectiveness, simplicity, and limited operator involvement. It weighs more than 5 tons and is armed with a 30mm autonomous turret developed by the Tank and APC Directorate for the ITAN Armored Personnel Carrier. On top of this, it also features Elbit's Iron Fist Active Protection System, Fire Control and Mission Management Systems, and Robotic Autonomous Kit. This in addition to Situational Awareness Systems. For forward reconnaissance missions, there's also a capsule drone on board. The Robust is driven by a virtual driver based on an Edge AI-powered autonomous driving module. The virtual driver uses state-of-the-art 3D visualization and passive sensing systems for visual and thermal sensing. This allows the UGV to plan its path, detect obstacles, and dynamically adjust its route in real time, all completely autonomously. It's not just the driving that comes automated. The vehicle also features a virtual gunner that's equipped with capabilities for automatic target recognition, auto tracking for multiple targets, a smart fire plan, and context-based target prioritization. This represents some of the most sophisticated technology on board a remote vehicle. Next, we move on to the Themis UGV. Themis stands for Tracked Hybrid Modular Infantry System, and it's another remotely controlled unmanned ground vehicle, or UGV. It was designed by Milrim Robotics, a relatively young company that started in 2013. The Themis unit itself was unveiled two years later. The unique and innovative design of the Themis essentially represents two independent tracks that bear in their body two types of propulsion, diesel motor and electric generator. This makes it technically a hybrid vehicle. It can also run solely on an electric motor, using lithium-ion batteries developed by Denshi Power and Graphene Ultra Capacitors. These are manufactured by Skelton Technologies and provide increased energy efficiency and reliable operation. The lightweight tracked suspension system offers excellent mobility for on- and off-road operations, and the infantry system can travel at a speed of 50 km per hour for up to 8 hours. The tracks are connected to each other by a modular platform that can be equipped with various systems. It's these systems that make the unit so useful. The product family of the Themis is very diverse. It includes a basic UGV platform, supply transport, lifting platform, unmanned ground combat vehicle armed with various weapons, anti-tank platform, demining platform, training platform, articulated platform, medevac recon observer patrol, CBRN detection, communication relay and firefighting platform. On top of all these functions, the Themis can tow and pull wheeled objects with a maximum weight of up to 30 tons, so it can also perform recovery missions. Even though the Themis weighs almost 800 kilograms, it is able to transport the payload of the same weight. Even a fully loaded Themis can easily handle off-road terrain thanks to its large rubber tracks. Because of its small size in comparison to other similar transport vehicles, the Themis is agile and very mobile in forest and bushy areas. This vehicle is remotely controlled from a distance of up to 1.5 kilometers. The operator, therefore, has a good amount of clearance. 
Other features like follow operator and autonomous control system allow the operator to focus on other tasks during a mission and not be distracted by operating the vehicle. Another useful feature is that Themis also has swarming capability, where a group of these unmanned vehicles can operate autonomously and conduct various types of joint tasks. This unmanned vehicle has also proven itself during combat. First, it was tested by an Estonian infantry platoon stationed in Mali. According to the vehicle's designers, Milrem Robotics, Themis had its first combat experience in 2019 when the UGV was hit by a suicide vehicle packed with explosives. Despite the fact that the vehicle sustained a huge amount of damage from a blast created by nearly 200 kilograms of explosive materials, the Themis remained operational. The Themis is not only good for withstanding damage, it can also cause it as well. Multi-purpose infantry systems can be armed with different weaponry, such as anti-tank missiles, machine guns and remote control weapon stations to attack light-armored vehicles. The Themis Adder variant features Adder RCWS developed by ST Kinetics. This weapon station can be used with weapons including a 7.62 general purpose machine gun, 12.7 mm machine gun, and CIS 50MG machine gun. Onboard video tracking system allows the targeting of both moving and non-moving targets. Other features of the Adder include day and night imaging cameras, a laser rangefinder, and an optional 40 mm air bursting munition system. Next, we're going to look at another unmanned weapon courtesy of the same company, Milram Robotics. The Estonian company has designed this new UGV to further reduce the number of soldiers on the battlefield. Therefore, it is another ideal solution for performing missions in dangerous situations while keeping infantry out of harm's way. The Type X with John Cockerell Defense's Protected Weapon Station Generation 2 was first demonstrated to select armed forces in the summer of 2020. It has drawn the attention of armies around the world, so much so that the U.S. Army is planning to order the Type X combat vehicles for its mechanized infantry units. Like the Themis, the design is based on a fully modular approach and open architecture, which can be changed up for multiple roles through the integration of upgraded sensors and other components. The Type X has an overall length 6 meters, a width 3 meters, and a height 2 2 meters. The weight of the vehicle is 12 tons and is capable of carrying a payload of 4.1 tons. The Type X combines augmented AI with a remote system operator. The remote unit's lightweight design will allow for air dropping by either parachute or under-sling transport by helicopter. This vehicle has the ability to be armed with a multi-role cockerel protected weapon station Generation 2. The CPWS-2 is a low-profile, lightweight, remotely-operated weapon system with a configurable hatch opening. The weapon system can be equipped with a wide range of 25mm and 30mm medium-caliber guns. For example, the Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems M242 25mm by 137mm Bushmaster Cannon, the 230LF 30mm by 113mm Cannon, or the Nexter 25mm M811. The system also has the capability to load and fire anti-tank missiles such as Alcatan, MMP, Javelin, or Spike to offer another layer of protection. Our final remotely operated vehicle we're going to look at is the Ripsaw M5, one of the first fully remote tanks. It was developed by Team Ripsaw, which is made up of Textron Systems, How and How, and FLIR Systems. The M5 is built based on Howe and Howe's expertise in developing purpose-built ground vehicles like the EV3F1, EV3F2, and EV3F4. The vehicle also uses FLIR's technological innovation and experience in unmanned vehicle technology and Textron's knowledge of defense and technological disruptions. This vehicle is based on the design and technicalities of the EV3F4. This is one of the world's fastest dual-track vehicles, serving luxury segment customers. The M5 represents a modified version for combat applications. The exoskeleton of the M5 tank is a rigidly welded tubular structure based on a highly protected high-performance suspension. The Ripsaw M5 has a maximum gross weight of around 3.8 tons and can carry payloads weighing up to around 2.7 tons. The Protector Medium Caliber Turret 30 on the M5 is armed with a 30mm 40mm Bushmaster cannon with a 7.62mm coaxial gun. 
The automatic cannon is fed by a linkless ammunition handling system. The vehicle has the capability to be equipped with other weapon stations like the common remote weapon station Javelin. The turret is mounted with a Javelin anti-tank guided missile as well as either an M250 machine gun, M240 7.62mm machine gun, or a Mark 19 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The FLIR gimbal gives further agility and surveillance of the M5 and helps in capturing multi-axis movement using high-definition zoom lenses. What do you think about these unmanned combat vehicles? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.